isang guro, opera singer at theater actress. Siya ang world-class Filipina na si Banawe Miklat Johnson. Halikat sa manyo kung alamin ang kanyang tunay na buhay at tunay na kwento. Hi, good morning. This is our unit then. My husband. Banawe talaga po. Tapos ito nga sawa kasi Dominic. Hi. Nakapag bang Tagalog rin siya. Oo. Pwede. Good morning, Ms. Banawe. Welcome to Real Talk. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Kwento niyo naman po kami about your childhood years. How was it like growing up? I was born in China. Tapos I grew up there until I was seven years old. Tapos bumalik ang magulang ko dito sa mama. Siyempre kami ng kapatid ko nung seven years old ako. And I've been living here since. Um, marami akong nakita sa China nung ng bata ako na I think naka-influence sa mga sa mga bagay para sa akin tulad ng discipline iba yung marami silang outlook in life na iba kaysa sa atin sa UP, so UPIS ako elementary and high school and then UP Diliman so UP all the way um, parte ako ng pinaka tinatawag na nerd society <laughs> pero hindi ko may mahilig kumbaga um hindi naman sa tinatawad mag -aaral. pero hindi ako yung sobrang running for honors lagi na may goal ako. Pero mad madaling mag-stick sa akin yung mga bagay. For my MFA in acting, um, an MFA is a terminal degree, Master of Fine Arts, in a certain field, para siyang PhD level. Mm -hmm. So I did my MFA in acting sa Brooklyn College of the City University of New York. So, wow. And then I lived in New York for a few years after that. Swerte ako kasi I discovered theater early when mm -hmm. I was 12 years old. Before that, I studied ballet and then um, hindi na ma-afford ng parents ko ang ballet. So, when I was 12 years old, nag-audition ako for Petas um, Raja Mangandiri mm -hmm. workshop production. Um, and doon, I was able to continue dancing, pero iba naman, mm -hmm. mga malang dancers, sing kill, ganun. And then, I was able to sing, it was a musical, act, And then I got paid, because, mm -hmm. de ba? Because it was a performance. Yes. So at that early stage, parang sabi ko, ay dito may pera. <laughs> yun ang yun ang akala ko sa teatro nung bata pa ako. Um, and then tuli tuli na lagi pag merong opportunity na pwede akong sumali sa mga plays, pinapayagan ako ng parents ko. Although in terms of connecting it uh, to the education ulit, um, meron akong opportunities na on with groups like, naging member ako na Ramon Ubusan Folkloric Group. Mm -hmm. um, I had an opportunity sana to to go to a Europe tour with them for six months. Pero, wow. hindi ako pinayagan ng parents ko. Kasi at that time, I was 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. And sabi ng parents ko, tapusin mo man yung pag-aaral mo. Kasi pag hininto mo ngayon, hindi ka na ever magkakadrive na tapusin. Mm -hmm. Nung nag-MFA ako, after my first year, um, pinag-audition ako sa Off-Broadway. And, Um, the people, the producers really wanted me. Kaya lang, daytime ang rehearsals, it mm -hmm. would conflict with my studies going into my second year. So, pinapili nila ako, both my advisor and the producers, mm -hmm. and I chose my education. And I was able to complete it. Sabi ko kasi, I'm here for my MFA. And then the other things would come. The very the year after I graduated, I got to perform the same theater mm -hmm. of Broadway theater. Iba na yung oh, mm -hmm. iba na yung play pero it was still the same. And I had my degree on top mm -hmm. of that, so so yon. Every time you internalize, ano po yung mga hugot? Saan yung pumbato kino kuha para po makarte kayo? Definitely na kakatulong yung experience ko sa atiko. Uh, two things, no? It yung pagkamatay niya. I was 21 when she died, and it helped me mature bigla. Mm -hmm. I had to be mature, I had to um, be strong, mga ganon. And then, the second thing, before she died, tuwing meron akong mapapagdaan ng heartbreak, mm -hmm. uh, yung mga boyfriend, yung mga ganon, she would always tell me na, think of it as something that will help you in your acting. You guys are very close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dalawa lang kami. So, tapos when she died, Um, isa sa mga breakdown moments ko, ito ba, makakatulong mata sa acting ko, yung gano'n. Mm -hmm. And re later on, I realized, yeah, it, it does, it still does, yeah, it did, it still does. Mm -hmm. I think for the rest of my life, um, I will have that as 
pinaghugutan. And there's this uh, special book that you would like to show our uh-huh. viewers this morning. It's uh-huh. Voice from the Underworld, written by your, or compiled by your sister. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, she wrote, my sister was a painter and a poet. She wrote in three languages, uh, Filipino, English, and Chinese. Kasi nga, pinanganak kami pareho sa China. So she wrote this, um, and the same year na it was published, uh, she passed away. And then last year, um, meron akong matalik na kaibigan si Jesse Lucas. He composed the uh, music for some of the poems here. Tapos, we were able to perform it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we were able to perform it. And we came out with a CD, Inogonita Kita. What are your tips and advices for those young aspiring artists? Work hard. Mm-hmm. Work hard. And listen to your mentors. And really, really, ano, um, no excuses. Marami na ngayon kasi easy access to social media. Um, parang mas madali nang magsabi ng, ay, hindi po ako pwede kasi ganito mm-hmm. ganyan. I think, um, before kasi nagka-internet, yung mga generasyon namin na before nag-internet, talagang ang um, konsepto ng pag- ang disiplina sa performance is, you're only absent or late if you're dead or dying. Mm. Uh, so, stricto siya. Pero, Solid, strict oh, talaga sa theater. Oo, oh, oh, pero the show must go, go on. on. Mm-hmm. So, ako, ang lagi kong example, the day that my sister was cremated, I opened a show. I was part of a show that opened Firewater Woman sa CCP, the mm-hmm. same time that Nusaydan was being performed. And I had to do the show. No choice. But, it helped me realize na, okay, this is something na pag buong-buong, uh, buong-buo kong pinuntahan, buong-buo akong mag-commit, mm-hmm. it will help me heal. You know? And it's, pag alam mo na yung, yung konsepto na yun, kahit saan ka pa mag-end up, That's kahit right. sa theater, mm-hmm. you know that these, there are things that will help you heal, and then there are things that you have to step back, tate, kapahinga mo na ako. Yeah, but cute little boy. Ang cute cute niya nakita natin siya kanina. May foreign din siya pero he can speak uh, Filipino fluently. Eh, kasi Filipino din siya. Kalahati siyang Filipino, kalahating Australiano. Australiano ang asawa ko. So, we taught him both languages from the beginning. How do you manage your time with your family? Kasi we can see that super busy po kayo. I'm directing a play now and lucky uh, sa UP, uh, The Female Heart. And as, as a director, no, um, I was able to choose the schedule. And since ano, mid-year break namin ngayon, I chose na ang, ang rehearsals in this na the usual 6 to 10. I did it na 2 to 6. Para I have time at night with my family. Yes. And then ang weekend, so lang rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> Ako si Banawe ni Clap Shansen, isang aktres at guro. Tunay na tao at yan ang aking tunay na kwento. Walang!